Hi, and welcome to the We Adventure Northwest podcast. I'm Wes, also known as We. I've been adventuring over five decades now, and man, do I have some stories to tell you. So join me, the intern, who just happens to be my wife, and the girlfriends. Uh, yeah, she knows all about the girlfriends. So grab a beer and join us on the porch. Ready as I'll ever be. So um, I was going to tell you. Are we even on? Yeah, we're on. Oh. Your wristband yeah. that you got yesterday yeah. reminds me of the ocean. <laughs> nice. I think it's really it pretty. Do, it does. It is pretty. It's got the hieroglyphic. It's not why I got it, but. No. Yeah. Not hieroglyphs. That's mm. what people paint on rocks. What is it? Holographic. Yeah, holograph. There you go. Help me with my words. Oh, my dear Lord. I'm drinking cheap wine. Hey. What? Uh, Yikes. Are we going? Yeah, we're on. Like Why do you do this talk? to me every time? Because I like to surprise you. Oh, well, the surprise. Here we are. Another episode of We Adventure Northwest. Yep. With we here. Hello. Across from me, the lovely intern. Now you can say hello. Hi. There you go. That's better. Um, what awesome. do we... Uh, I have to be. Sometimes this show needs a boss. Oh. And I'm going to be the boss. Okay. So, with that said. Yep. Uh, what are you drinking today? Um, I have some wine. Yeah. Oak Creek or Oak Village or <laughs> not worth Oak saying Shire the name. Or, no. <laughs> okay, perfect. It's like three dollars. Oh, for right a on. Of wine, it's pretty cheap. I figured it's perfect for a podcast. Right on. Yeah. Uh, what are you drinking? I'm double fisting it. That's nice. I got a glass of your Oak whatever. Oak whatever. And then I got a Corona. <laughs> and so I'm drinking a Corona because I'll tell you why. I feel like you're going to be sick later. No. Here's here's why I'm Wine drinking Corona. Beer, Have you ever beer. seen the commercials for Corona? The beach ones? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful people. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Can you even talk with it while you're doing that? No, I forgot oh. my chocolate bar too. Oh, damn it. Anyways. Yeah. So I'm watching this Corona commercial. Yeah. And I'm thinking, look how skinny these people are. Look how fit they are. They have like the, they're the perfect people, right? Mm-hmm. And they're running around the beach, mm-hmm. half naked. Mm-hmm. What are they carrying? Coronas. Yeah, well, with a line. Maybe that's what's wrong. Oh, I don't have don't the have line. Lime. That's so it. maybe I don't have that beach body because I don't the have the line. That could be. Okay, so I'm drinking this Corona, and yeah. I'm going. Well, no wonder they're all chipper and sober, because they all have to stand up and pee, because you can't even get a buzz off of these things. Is that why you're drinking wine at the same time? Yeah. Okay. I feel like we need to reevaluate. If Al was listening right now, she'd be sorely <laughs> impressed. Yeah, Don't for sure. Don't bring that on the desk. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll edit that out. You're editing now. Know. Now you know. Oh, my God. You know what? What? It's like a freaking full-time job. Hi. Yeah. Let me introduce you to your intern. Yeah. No, I think it's good that you're editing because once you're on the road, you're going to be a one-man show. So I did two episodes the other day. Yeah. Took me about eight hours, six to seven hours. Yeah. Yeah, you were just in to here do a long it. Time. Yeah, that's dumb. And then you said, "I got to hire the intern and intern." Yeah, the intern's getting an intern because this is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's good for you to kind of see what happens on the. I was going to say the back end, but that's what she that's said. that's what she said. I know. So. Yeah. Shout out to all of our Patreons. I want to say yesterday's adventures were brought to you by the Patreons. And that Kay. was pretty cool, right? Yeah. So. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. You uh, help us to have stories. Yeah. Storylines. Yeah. You definitely, definitely fund the podcast yeah. and most of the adventures, too. And yeah. I'm not going to lie. What? Uh, the adventures are fun. Yeah. So. That's where I really have to say thank you and and keep supporting us. Yes. And tell your friends. Absolutely. Because we need more supporters. I mean, there's yeah. a, the, what we do really, it, there is an expense to it. And sure. it takes takes a while. So, well, and if please, you guys, you please. You guys are listening right now. So, here's the thing. We don't, we don't do a whole lot of advertising, right? Hardly any. Just word of mouth. So, if you guys want to help us get the word out about We Adventure Northwest, take a screenshot right now of wherever you are in the podcast and post that to either Instagram or Facebook. 
wherever you want to post it and tag tag us at we adventure and w yeah so that people can find us that's a huge thing like for you guys to share then your friends will be like what is this new podcast yeah please just share us it's pretty awesome yeah. and if you're not a patreon and you want to see what it's all about there is a lot of behind the scenes over on patreon that you have to be a member to see so head on yes over there. I'm throwing out a bunch of pictures over there, especially what we do yeah. in our events. Yeah. Um, that, as long uh, as we can stay unsponsored by like ads and stuff like that, I think. Yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's I, way good. Because I don't like to be bombarded by no. ads, and I know these guys don't. And either. I think eventually we'll get so popular we can't say no because they'll want to pay Woo-hoo! us like a kajillion dollars. But Woo-hoo! for now, you guys are paying us a kajillion dollars, so we'll just keep it the way it is. I mean, a kajillion might be overrated. <laughs> Hey, and uh, you can also catch us in uh, Redmond on August 10th. 10th. For the uh, Wild, Wild Ride, Ride Wild, Wild Ride show. Right? Yeah. So we'll yeah. be there. Um, we'll have the FJ. Yeah, and so the, the FJ and, and the bike will be there. T shirts, stickers. So you guys come on out, um, support us, yeah. and uh, ha- have a beer with us. Will this go out before then? Well, probably. Oh, yeah, it'll go out sure. to our Patreons on the 10th. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be, uh, yeah, we'll be out there, so. Maybe we should publish this one Probably, next, we probably should, yeah, one. we probably should. Anyway, talking, talking behind the scenes. But yeah, so we'll be, we'll be out yeah, there we'll at Wild there. Ride. That'll be fun. On August 10th. So tell me about what happened, where you guys went, what you guys did, who went with you. I know I had to print a t-shirt. Whoa, 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 night whoa. Before last. What, what are you what? even talking about? I thought this was my show. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't even have a title for it yet. What? Guys, here here's what here's what the intern's trying to jump ahead to. Washugo MX Nationals. Woo! <laughs> Brought to you by Lucas Oil. Okay. Should I say Oil? Oil. Lucas Oil. So anyways, no, it's part of the outdoor series. Uh Washugo up there every year. We try to get up there. The last couple of years, we've actually been on kind of riding trips, and it's, it hasn't worked out. But um, Zach and I were able to make it up this year. Um, little Seth was there. Squirrel. Squirrel. Seth was up there. Zach Squatch. Um, Zach Squatch. Two of the three girlfriends. Yeah. So yeah. We, w- we were able to make it up there. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit of what was going on. You took the adventure wagon. Oh my God. Do you even want to start with that? Because that was like, so here, here it is. Oh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I'll just jump in this story. Wednesday? No, it wasn't Wednesday. Was it? Yeah. Well, no, but yeah. it was a couple of weeks ago. I said, Hey, um, no, no, no. I'm going to, nope. I'm going to wash- nope. Washougal. Nope. No, it was a Facebook post that we adventure <laughs> yeah, Northwest for said, sure. see you there. And I'm like, Oh, and I text you and I said, I take it. You're going to Washougal. Well, no, I just, well, you know, yeah, I was just, I'm not going to break that to you just yet. I was doing marketing stuff. I'm like, so you're not going. Well, well I mean, I'd like to well, go. No, I'm kind of committed to go. <laughs> There's that whole forgiveness, not permission yeah so no, oh, yeah there like you go guys me. so yeah there's another uh just a prime Layered example of my yeah. ask forgiveness but yeah. it's washugal you're fine with that it's sure. part of the sport sure. and then, you're like oh yeah whatever that's fine but then that's i go fine. then i yeah that's fine that's fine but then i i text you and i said hey um i gotta take the adventure wagon no, you said, "Can I take it?" And what did I, I say? Oh yeah, I said, "Can I take your your rig?" Because you got to remember, your rig is way more added up, and it's got the podcast and where you can dirt find bike. us and dirt bikes and and yeah. we adventure and, yeah. and it's just you can't miss this thing going down the road. So much Death I can't kid. drive like a jerk because people will report me to you. Yeah, for sure. And I'm thinking, oh, what the perfect vehicle to take, right? Sure. I could take my truck. Okay. Should we tell people you didn't even invite me to go? Like, I was not even invited to go to this? There's a lot of hiking involved, and I didn't think, with you being an indoor pet, it's why why even cross that bridge, right? We've been through this before. You know I'm going to say no, but it's just the thought that you ask. So here we go again, oh, 23 years, and you forgot to ask me if I'd like to go. A... Knowing that, what would I say? No. no. I have no interest. <laughs> I have no interest in but, that. But, babe, that was really nice of you to ask me. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm fine. 
So anyway, you text me. So anyways, hey, I text you. Hey, is it cool you, if I take your, your, your rig? rig? What did I say? You instantly, I've never seen a text come back so fast. Yep. And it said no. Just no. And I With said, a period. <laughs> no. Yep. You got the rig that's advertised. No. I'm going to be in thousands of people. No. I need to take your rig because nope. mine's not going to. I mean, I have the stuff in my tailgate and that's it. Yeah. Whose it's, fault is that? It, it's the tow rig. You're it's, the sticker cover. I know, but it's the tow rig. It just tows. Sure. It tows the trailer. It doesn't sure. need to be all stickered up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then I talked you into that, it. you kind of drive like a jerk. Yeah, so I do. I'm having gonna ask. people contact us about your driving is a little bit more realistic. About yeah, I think people. we had somebody call me out. We did on the freeway. Yeah, on the yeah. freeway. They thought you were a real ass. Yeah, they it's like too. On Facebook, you try pulling a 40 foot trailer. See if you're an ass with a whiny dog yeah. that I was just gonna drop off. And you're traffic. gonna be an ass too. If he wasn't chipped. I'd give you our dog. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't. Anyways, so anyway, I said no, and there's a whole backstory why I said no. I don't like driving other people's vehicles, and people say. Well, aren't you guys married? Isn't it your vehicle? Well, no, I know. It's, it's not. like you. Yeah, you it's say. Not. Well, I. Yeah, I don't like I have other a phobia. people's. It's a true. Phobia. Think about that. And we've been married for twenty, going on twenty three ish. Ish. And sure, sure, sure. it's like you still won't drive the vehicle that I drive. No, because it's your That's just truck. Weird. And I ended up, I had to drive it like a freaking grandma. That thing is a moose. It's I a am not going to lie to you. It's badass. And. You're like, I swear to God, there's a computer living in that truck that if I were to hot rod it, it would send you a freaking text. It does. driving like a grandma. It tells me, yeah. So I do get notices on that thing, whether you're hard accelerating or hard braking. Yeah, well, I wasn't hard anything. So, well, that's what she said. (laughs) That's why she walked away. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so you got to take the adventure wagon. Yeah, I, I wore you down. You did. I, I mean, worry it took you like two minutes. I know, because I, like, I, sure. I told you, and I think you came to and said, yeah, d- sure, it's it a smart, sense. it makes I mean, sense. Yeah, it's the vehicle that says we adventure. And I didn't even know, adventure. I was going to look up on my phone how many people were even there yesterday, there but lot. there was a like, lot. Like looking through your photos, there In was fact, a lot In fact, that was one of the biggest years. Um, I talked to, uh, you know, y- you get in there and you just start mingling and talking sure. to people because everybody's on the same. cards? No, I didn't oh. shoot. Um, okay. I got. I was in the moment. Oh, and I wasn't in business mode. I was in motocross mode. And yeah, sorry. This is why the intern goes. <laughs> yeah, because I'm always in business. Yeah. Mode. So, anyways, you get to talking to all these people, and you you just uh, this is what you have in common with them. So it's like you know, boom. boom. Hey, didn't you tell me that? Okay, so you need to back the truck up literally. So you left. Yeah. You went and got Zach. You guys got on the freeway. I was doing my own thing yesterday. Tell me about your adventure from the get go. Shit. Because I feel like you left a bunch of stuff out just so you could like tell me on the podcast what happened. Well, first of all, yeah. Part one is it's about it's a hundred. It's like a hundred and thirty miles up there from here. So not too far. A couple hour drive. Sure. Right. Sure. And so it should take us a couple hours. <laughs> Right, so you we and I figure. Both know what happens? So we figure. I tell Zach, "Is it so? Gates open at ten. Races start at noon. Which luckily they really didn't start till about one. But right, the website said one. But what of? I thought it said noon. They said one. Oh well. Anyway, so you one try to, to get six-ish. So you try to get you try to get up there early sure, when I mean, the gates because because spot and yeah, get a beer and yeah, parking. Oh my God, let me tell you about the beer. <laughs> Skip ahead too far yet. Okay. Because you said, I mean, I don't want to say, but you said you took the adventure wagon off road. So I want to make sure and hear that part oh, of the story. Jesus. Anyways, so you're on the freeway. So we're on the freeway and we're heading up and you got to go through Portland. Right. And oh, I just hate Portland. Traffic? Traffic, traffic, traffic. Sure. I like Voodoo Donuts up there though. Did you stop? No. Mm. We probably had time. Womp womp. We could have, we could have, par- yeah, we could have just jumped out the, the adventure wagon and. <laughs> Had a donut. Sure. But anyways, no, we get up there. The traffic's just shitty. Yeah. And you know what? This is weird. This is the middle of July, right? Okay. Yeah. So Washougal is July 26th, uh, 7th? Yeah. 7th. Yeah. For the pros. 27th. Yeah. Today's so the 27th. 27th. So yeah. um, right. we should be in 90 degree weather. 
Yeah, we should be like in the middle of drought season where it's like fire danger is extremely high. Yeah. Yeah. We get to Portland. It's pouring down rain. Pouring down rain. That's what you said. And it was beautiful skies here. Do you know you know how I feel about rain? I do. I'm not a fan. Not at all. At all. Especially when it's on the freeway and it's stopping. Oh, God, yeah. So it's just a pain. But, and then. Although I bet you it got all the bugs off the windshield. No, not at all. Ugh. Just smeared them. The worst. But anyway, so we're getting up through Portland and my cousin, he hates being on the freeway. (laughs) So he's just, he makes it known all the time. You know, he doesn't like the freeway. Right. But so anyways, that's another story and another time, another day. But. We get up there, and we come to, uh, well, no, let me back this up. The gates open at 10, right? Right. So I figure we leave around 8, 8.30. Sure. We'll get there plenty of time. Right. Okay? You don't want to be like the first person there. No, God, no. No, no, no. And you want to be able to park back where you can get out easy. You don't want to be one of the first ones to park because then you're way deep in there, and and that's... You may be close to the gate, but you're, it's you're going to suck right. when, it, you, when you have to leave. Right. So we think, okay, so I'll pick Zach up around, oh, I don't know, 830. You know, that'll give us an, an hour and a half. I think I can make make it up there pretty close to that. Okay. Wrong. Fake news. Wrong news. Yeah. What happened? Fake news. Because of all those stop and go by Portland. Oh, my God. The traffic was terrible. It was pouring down rain. Right. And then going over to the Columbia... We took I-5. Wait, hold on. The Columbia Gorge? Isn't that going towards River. Baker? Oh. So. Disregard my We comment. went up I-5. Okay. And it's a standstill. Right. Right at the bridge. Okay. I mean, traffic coming on, traffic coming off. It's a standstill. Ugh. And it's like, why? Well, that's because there's a drawbridge. <gasps> oh, to let the. Yeah. Uh, so they had the, the bridge up. Yeah. So now we're Not stuck. the barges, but the ships. And of course, my cousin's going, why didn't we take 205? Oh. Uh, I don't know. Why didn't you tell me well, to take 205 when we right. had the chance? Right. 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 So we screwed that one up because sure. we went 205, just done away with this whole mess. Right. So we're sitting there, and I think Wait. I text you a picture. You did. Did you guys go 205 on the way home? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. And uh, you did you did send me a picture. I didn't get all of your pictures, though. I know. It was, spo- it was yeah. spotty internet up there. But yeah, I got that one when you guys were sitting in traffic. Yeah, so we're sitting in there, and uh, we probably sat. I mean, sh- I put the thing in park, put the brake on, turned it off. I mean, it, we were there that long. Oh, wow. And we were just hanging out BSing because you're so trapped. You right. can't you, get you're around. You're not going to go anywhere. But then it finally got going, and we're thinking, okay, shit, you know, right. we're a little bit behind. We're at probably, we probably sat there, I don't know, 15 minutes. And uh, so we get going, and we, right. we're on the Washington side, heading to Washougal. We we just bebop down the highway mm-hmm. and get to Washougal, turn off Washougal River Road. Right. Which is a beautiful area. If you have never, if you guys have never been to Washougal, have I ever it, been to Washington? No, okay. and I should take you up there because um, that area is beautiful. Okay. And there's a reason why that that Washugo, they keep Washugo on the venue. The I tour. mean, for one, the track is awesome for right. outdoors, and two, it is known as probably the most pristine track in the U.S. So had it the, rained on there the circus? Yeah. So so. Yeah, when we were getting there, it was it was kind of misty. Sprinkling. Yeah, okay. but we were out of the rain. Uh, okay. Well, I I can't say we were out of the rain. We were off and on r- rain. And I know when I left here, it was you, beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. And but when we got to Portland and into Washington, just let loose. It's like son of a. Yeah. How do you Washington people? Did I say that right? Washington. Wa- Washington. 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 No. Washingtonians. How do you guys do with oh, all that God. rain? I can't take this. I can't take it. We have just as much rain as they do. I don't know if we do. We do. I think they have more. They don't. Uh, well, obviously it was raining. Shout out up to there. our neighbors to the north. Who yeah, live in for rain. sure. Maybe Seattle gets more than we do, oh, but I don't think Washougal does. I don't know. But I don't they know. get a lot of rain. Chime Anyways. In, chime in, Washougal. So we get, yeah. Yeah. Washougal. Let us know. Represent. Let us how much know how rain wrong we are. So we, we, we turn off. Into Washougal, and right. then you turn off and you go into... Yeah, you sent me a sign that was like, MX, this way. Yeah. Right. And there, get that one. I mean, it's, uh, I mean that's what... Uh, Washougal, you're a beautiful town, but 
You weren't there. You're riding off the shirt tails of the MX community. Are they only there once a year? No, they well the yeah the, the big, big boys ones. yeah but, you but can, they have you races okay. they have races all year long okay that and makes sense yeah so we turn off there and you go down the Washougal River road or whatever and the Washougal Rivers I, the whole time we're driving down there I'm thinking oh man I wish I had my fly rod jump yeah. out and and fish two for a adventures bit. in one yeah for sure does Zach wash fish mm-hmm. yeah he does a little fly fishing I feel the wine numbing my yeah lips. sorry. So anyways, it's about, oh, I don't know. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I probably am. It's like, I want to say it's like seven miles from like the Washougal road. up the road to the MX Park. Okay. That's quite a ways. Yeah, it is. But it should only take you 10 minutes to get up there, maybe. 15, 15 at the most. Yeah. Um, it, will, it doesn't take that long to get that far. Um, going in, mm-hmm. it took us... Um, we got in, remember we left here at 830, so we should have been up there about 1030. 11, yeah. 11 ish. We got in there at noon. Ooh. We got parked at noon. And you still had to hike in. Uh Uh-huh. Tell me about the parking. Oh my God. What? I feel (sighs) like there's a story. There's a big big sigh. sigh. Why? What happened? I'm going to tell you. Watch you go. Yeah? Keep the same people time and time again. They'll figure it out. Uh-oh. It'll be good. Don't change your Wait, parking people. Wait, time out. Over. Is this a new hat you're wearing? This is the one I won. From where? On uh, that last uh, not a race Zach and I were on. Uh, did you just hit your microphone I did. stand? This was one of my uh, consolation prizes. Oh, okay. It's it KTM. nice. I like yeah. it. Sorry. No worries. So parking. So you um, say keep the same people like volunteers. So it was it's cool. Really hard to keep. Well, the same yeah, but it was year. it was cool because we, you know we're sitting in line and we're we're moving right. probably I don't know half a car length. Not even that. Wow. I mean, it was you're at a crawl, you're at a standstill, and everybody's going down the the river road part, and all of a sudden this this venue guy we're getting close right, yeah. and we're this venue guy. That's at the sign that says staff and first responders. Ooh. All that goes this way. This way. And so now he's starting to direct us this way. And oh. we go, hey, we're, we're just not. we're just spectators. We just look like we're cool. We and got then the adventure wagon. Yeah. Oh, and it was like press and all that, right? Going up that <laughs> Yeah. Oh, let me tell you this. Yeah. So yeah, this is dumb. Okay, that's cool. So I love how he we're so different. Us, You're like, this I know. is dumb, and I'm like, that's kind of cool. So he directs us up this way, and it's like, oh, hey, well, we're just I think spectators. Wrong. Just pretend yeah, like yeah, you know just, what you're doing. Yeah, just pretend you're doing you it. You belong there. So we go up this road, and yeah. and thank God, because the, the other w- entryway was standstill. In fact, little Seth was in that line uh. and got caught in that, and he said it took him another hour to get in. Oh, no. From what we were at. Oh, God. So we get That's in. A lot. So yeah, we we get up there, and, you're and they're patience. yeah, and they're they're flagging us into the the uh, staff area and oh. press and all that, okay. and first responders, and we're going okay. We'll just keep following, sure. following everybody, you know. But they let a, uh, other people in too, sure. so we weren't the only ones. Okay. And we get up there, and of course, it gets to stand still again, you right. know. And we're going real slow. And I think I sent you some pictures you of did. hey, we're getting close. Yeah. Da, da, da. And then we get to this one driveway where we should have went to park. Right. And the guy goes, oh, no, are you will call? Do you have your tickets? Do you have online tickets? We have online. And we go, yeah, we got online tickets. Oh, you're will call. Will call. Will you're call. not will call or will call. Yeah. You've got your and tickets I go, already. Okay, that's confusing, but they're sending us. You And he says, you can't miss it. It's the big white tent by the house. Just oh. pull in there. Okay. So... We're going, okay, okay, so we bypassed the parking area <gasps> that we should have went to. No. And we went down the road in between. They're filing it in, too. You know, we're filing in from where we came in, and then the opposite Side's coming, coming in, in is right. coming in. So yeah. there's this there's this little section of the road. Sure. And off to the side is that big white tent. Okay. For will call. That's where you need to be. So they say. Right. So we go down there. Yeah. We whip in there. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Okay. We jump out. Yeah. We park out in the middle because you know, like you sure, know what you you're doing, right? Right. Yeah. Pretend you belong there. And it's and it's the wee wagon. It's all it's all stickered up yeah, and it's like and it's not like, like it like, it doesn't this? look like it belongs, it does, right? Yeah. It looks like a sponsored rig. It does. And so we whip in there and, and we're sponsored standing at the we're standing at the tent 
looking. Thank you. And we, thank God there was a line of people to yeah. get in there. And we're looking and we're going, hmm, mm. the sign says press here. Yeah. Event staff here. Yeah. Press. Yeah. A Moto X. Yeah. Press. Yeah. And we're going, <laughs> we're none can, of these people, right? Can we pretend? So, and here's the funny thing is you get all these people that, and, and I'm guilty too, but I used to wear them for work. Um, oh, your all my No, 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 oh. no. All my um, um, factory shirts. Oh, yeah. Like the Honda shirt, and sure. I've got a Yamaha shirt. And yeah. If I had a KTM shirt, I'd be wearing that too. But Right. But uh, you weren't wearing those. No, no, no. Had we had own. our Wii shirts on. So, But there's a guy over here standing with a clipboard, and, and he's got one of those. I think it was like a Monster Energy or oh, okay. Husqvarna or something so like that. So he looked legit. So he looked legit, right? And no, no, nobody's legit if they wear those things. Sure. So I walk over to him and go, dude, you know what's mm-hmm. going on? He goes, hey, I don't even work here. Oh. But I will tell you, you don't need to be here. Uh, what? <laughs> and I go, what? I go, well, we didn't think so because we're not Wilco. We have our tickets. He goes, yeah, you're supposed to just go on up and just park. And you can uh. just go in. Oh, jeez. And I go, some bit. He goes, Can we just park here? he goes, yeah, these people, they don't know anything. <gasps> oh, no. They're just, they are a train oh, wreck right no. now. Yeah, so it was a train wreck yesterday. Womp, womp. So we go, shit. Now, we're now we've lost our window, right? Yeah. Uh, opportunity. So we jump in the FJ real Would quick. Would they let you park there otherwise? No. Like, could you have no, 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 no. Oh. That's not a parking spot. It's just uh, get off, get your credentials, go in. We didn't need any credentials. Sure, you could have got some fake ones. Well, though. we probably could have. Shout out to yeah, Ron. Yeah, Ron, we did that once. We got busted. Almost. Almost. You guys didn't. We did get into Anaheim. Yeah. I, did I say what? that out loud? Don't um, give away secrets from the So past. anyways, um, so we jump in FJ. Sure. We head out. Yeah. And we have to, we have to just kind of uh, jam our way in between pissed off traffic that's trying to get in there that's been waiting just as long as we had, right? Right. In line. And right. they're like, we just want to park and go. Like, Watch the motocross. You in. You're dumb for taking that turn. Yeah, idiot. right. Yeah, why Listen, are you we out adventure here? Northwest. Yeah. So we we kind of muscle our way in there nice. with the little FJ. It's quite the muscler. Yeah, it's and we get in there, <laughs> and of course where you, where we went in, it's just lined with sheriffs. Oh, whatever nice. county. What I don't know even what county why that is. Why were they lined up? And because that's where they were staging. So you oh. had to drive right through them, right? Oh. So we get through those guys. And uh, hopefully one of you guys is a sponsor because I saw you guys checking out the the FJ. So I'm the calling you out. Office? Yeah, yeah. So oh, that's cool. So Shout anyways, out to the law yeah. enforcement. So we get Love down, we we wander our way down, and they we weren't even in the main parking section. I right. will tell you this: we were in the off side left field. Okay. Of yeah, if you think of a baseball field, we were out in left field. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I'm an indoor pet. Or last time we were in the main one. Easy to find. There was a lot of people. I think I sent you a picture of the just a small section of how many parking, parking in this field. And yeah. granted, this place is huge and it's big and it can uh, it can accommodate all this this stuff. Right. But we get in here and we're like a bunch of sheep following well, each other, right? All right. And you got your flagger guys with their sure. fluorescent vests and their flags. Yeah. We going, come, really on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Yeah. And uh, so we keep following these, pe- these people. Yeah. I'm following the truck ahead of me, which is following the truck ahead of him, which is following the truck ahead of him. Sure. Right? That's how it goes. That the guy is trying to park us, right? Right. There's, they're just passing everybody off to everybody. You know, one flagger passes all these cars off to the next flagger. Sure. And he just, it's his responsibility, not sure. my responsibility. It's his responsibility. That's sure. how they're, they're looking at it. Sure. So we get around this corner, and he parks the guy a- ahead of me right. in a spot that's impossible, and he's in a big truck. He par- he The guy parked there, Ooh. and the guy jumps out of the truck, the and driver? I'm and I roll down the window, and I go, hey, attendant, yeah. how the F do you th- expect oh, people no. to get out of here if you're parking them like this? And the guy goes, dude, you can't park me like this. There's no way I can get out. What are you thinking? And the attendant goes, no, no worries. Big deal. You go ahead in the wee wagon. You go ahead, park next to him. And I said, absolutely not. I'm going to find my own parking spot. Uh, Wes. You could not get out. 
you're a rebel. And Why everybody, do you do and this? and then I have cars behind me, of right? Of course you do, because they're all waiting to park, and they're and like, "What the heck is this so, wee adventure guy doing?" This it, is why we get comments about you yeah. on the website. So I've got all the all the cars are parked, and I got this little narrow window, oh, and the trees heathen. over here, right? The oh, trees and the brush, right? And then, and I I see I see my opportunity of to just squeeze do. through this, yeah. But to squeeze through it, let yeah. me paint you a picture. Here's a line of Wait, cars. Do I want you to paint me a picture? So Am here, I going to say no next so time and hold my gun? Here's a line of cars. Oh, I'm going right. to I'm going to give you like this. We're arranging the beer okay. and the twenty dollar candle. So here's a line of, and here's the trees oh, right here, right? The basket. Okay, the baskets are tree line. Okay. Okay, I got this narrow little window between the car and the tree line. Sure. Right. Right. There's a freaking tent. Somebody threw a tent up in the parking area. In the parking area okay. to tent. Like a big. So tent? they have a tent right here and a tree. Okay. And then I got I gotta I gotta shoot this this line right here. Okay. Which is about as wide as your FJ. Great. I'm super comfortable right now. The only issue is it looked like it'd been four wheeled through there and it had some super deep ruts. Great. And, and I'm thinking, Oh shit. It's a good thing she's got new tires on her that right. are aggressive. For sure. Oh for sure. And then so Zach goes, dude, because, I mean it's we almost ran over whoever's tent that was. Ugh. I mean I probably pushed the stakes in a little deeper in the ground. Are you shitting me? No, I'm not shitting you. It was that. We had to split it up. Why? Because we're not getting trapped. Because we are not getting trapped. Trapped by what? By this parking attendant. (laughs) The guy's an idiot. (laughs) And so. I I laugh because I've been with you when you've done things like this. No, these were. Yeah. And this shoot we had to go through. Yeah. To get into it, there were some deep ruts we had to go through. I mean, deep ruts. Yeah, because you said Zach wanted to know if you should put yeah, it in and he drive. and he goes, uh, "Should we put this thing in four wheel drive?" And it's like, "Nah, no, it's, it's FJ. Crawler. Don't worry about it. We'll just two wheel." Were you off camber? We'll, oh yeah, oh, we'll God. just two wheel this okay. thing. Okay, I don't want to be sick, so maybe I should so, put my intern hat so, on instead of safety Sally. So l- the FJ, yeah, flying colors. She's I'm a telling champ. you, she is a champ. She's amazing. That is. To all you FJ owners, you know what I'm talking what, about. What? Uh, that is like go anywhere. The, do anything. Yeah, it's like having a Jeep. It's basically it's a Jeep. It's not. It's better and, than and a yeah, Jeep. I'm yeah, yeah. We like Jeep it better owners, than a Jeep. But 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 throw the respect out to the Jeep owners sure. and to the FJs. Sure, sure, sure. Um, all you off road rock climbers. Yeah, the the thing is amazing. It right. went through it like a trooper. Boom, boom, boom. Went through there. What are the we got a little doing? advertising because there were yeah, people over I'm there sure were just kind of hanging out. Around. Yeah, they like, were. What the hell is well, this no, because they couldn't follow me because they there's no way. I had a little VW uh, Passat behind me. Yeah, and we're. I mean, this is a field, and and sure. you're on a bank, probably a. 40 degree angle, you know. Yeah. And the you need four wheel drive. Like, We're yeah. going. Yeah. And so we get through and we get some advertising because some people go, hey, duh, oh man, hey, look oh, at that. You've got a podcast. We Adventure Northwest. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> And, you know, we're going, yeah, buddy, you know, as we're going by him. And, you guys are so famous. And, yeah. And so we get around and because and, I go, I told the kid, I'm, I'm, I'm finding not. my own freaking parking spot. Good luck. And Stay so, hydrated. yeah. So then I have to go wheel through all these cars uh, again and get back in the line that, that they're misdirecting oh, great. into more spots. So this spots. is the second time you've cut in and the guy And the guy goes, okay, go ahead and follow the that rig. And I no. go, no, that's exactly what I said. I said, I'm sorry. No, I'm not falling for that ever okay. again. No. What did he say? I, I've been down that trap. And I said, He's I'm going to find my own freaking parking spot. Did you say freaking? Yes. Did you? You oh, didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> and so Zach and I go straight up to where the walkway is, where everybody's walking sure. through the timber. Yeah. And I go, I think I see a spot this thing will fit. What? Yeah. And so we whipped in, backed in. Might have backed into the brush a little bit just to get it in there. And then... Yeah, that's what she said. Do I need to go check my car <laughs> yeah, before pro- I take it to pro- work? Probably. Jeez. And uh, so we got it in there. We had to four-wheel it in there, but we got our spot. Great. And then, yeah, so then we said, yeah, we should have parked ourselves the first time. Not listen to this guy. We spent an extra 10 minutes driving around aimlessly uh-huh. in this parking lot. You're killing me. You know this, right? This is every adventure you and I have. I know. 
And we, Although, this is we haven't even got up to the motocross. Track I wouldn't yet. have done the off road shit. Yeah. I would have been like, nope, I'm getting out of the car. You go figure out. You come back and get me because that stuff just. Oh you no, know. I parked way away from that, so you would no. have had to walk to me anyways. No, I wouldn't. Have. So anyways, we 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 finally <laughs> we got parked. Um, we grab our shit. Um, you know, I had to pay for a parking pass too. Remember that? Yeah, ten dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dumb. Why? Shouldn't have done that. Why? I'll tell you. Story's me. coming up. Don't pin it because we never freaking come. No, back we're pinning pin this one because no, it'll come. come no, it'll come nope. back. Yep. No, nope. I gotta stand up. My butt hurts. So, anyways, so we jump out and I throw that piece of paper because I printed everything off, right? Right. So I just threw it in the dash. Yeah. There you go, yeah, sons of bitches. There's my parking pass. Sure. You can't tell me because it's sitting in the dashboard. You can see the son of a bitch. We're going. Yeah, so yes. we start walking. We get out, lock the the FJ. We walk up and. uh God, you know, I'm looking to try to get the tickets on oh, my phone, yeah. but the cell service is kind of sketchy and I can't load it. And so I can't get it on there. So luckily we had the paper our copies. paper copies, right? Right. So I'll walk up about a hundred yards and I, for some reason, I grab my piece of paper to fold it differently and I open it up. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Damn it, did you put the parking pass in your pocket? No, I put the blank piece of paper in my pocket. So it was blank. So you didn't have a ticket. So I didn't have a ticket. And Can then I, I couldn't get on my phone. It's like, son of a bitch, Zach, I'm a, now I'm going to have to walk all the way back and go get it. Are you kidding me? No, so then I had to walk all the way down the really hill. Did you really have to walk back? Yeah. You yeah. left Zach and you're like, I guess yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, I said, I'll be back. You just go give me a, a minute. Yeah. So, he no, he graciously waited up there. We still had a long ways to go. So he waits. I go get it. We start heading up, and we get to, we finally get, make it to the main gates. Okay. Where you get in. And to get your, your pretty blue. Oh, um, yeah, your wristband. wristband right? Yeah, it is very pretty. Okay, so I get up here. Yeah. And I'm waiting in line, and this, this gal in front of us is talking about her uh, her wristband. And then she makes a comment of, what do I do about my parking pass? Yeah. Unpinning this. Unpinning. We paid $10. $10 plus a fee of four ninety five For the entire package, not no, for No, 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 for everything. Right. For, for every everything. different transaction. You only had one transaction. Oh. Well, never mind then. Did you have more than one? Did you buy no, I had one. and then go back and buy your parking no, pass? No, I bought it all okay. once. So I had $5 transaction? Yeah. Okay, so $5. Yeah. Anyway. So split that in three. It's a sure. couple bucks, right? Sure. So, anyways, the gal at the ticket where that was giving your bands goes, yeah. "Don't even worry about that. That doesn't mean anything." Oh. Or, excuse me. I'd like my. $10 Can I, back? I have my twelve bucks back? Of course, you'd say twelve. Well, yeah, because there's a fee. You're in there. ridiculous. It's just ten dollars, or I mean five dollars, or ten dollars. There's ten bucks to park, bucks. and you ten. didn't need a parking a goddamn parking pass. Well, I'm sorry, the intern thought you did. It's better to be Anyways, legal than illegal. Yeah, so you don't want the intern's car towed, do you? No, because that's a then, you don't want to worry about. That would have been a long walk home, dude. That would have, because I wouldn't have come gotcha. <laughs> so, anyways, we finally got in, finally, that and it's a long time. It's like twelve thirty. So races are getting ready to start. Yeah, luckily they didn't start till one. That's good. That's they had good. some practice stuff going on, but so that's cool. we get in. Yeah, we're freaking hungry. Sure. We're thirsty. Yeah, spitting dirt. Right. Yeah. So we could have stopped by and got a t-shirt first. We didn't get a t-shirt, but we decided we're gonna go get something to eat. So we go under the track. There's all these, you know, culverts that you go underneath the track, so you get in and out of the track area. Culverts, like what they redirect canals with uh-huh okay. and they're big and you just walk through them okay like a tunnel yeah okay. like, yeah so a tunnel and the track uh, there's it's sections of the of track is over top of it okay and so we get in there and we, you know we're looking like wow what do we want to eat you know sure and it's like oh well there's a pizza truck let's go get the pizza sure okay so we go in there and wait in line Everything is a line. Of oh course my it God. does. There's like 200,000 people. <laughs> yeah, there. for sure. And so we're waiting in line. But the 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 people you meet, the conversations while you're in sure. line it's like Disneyland. is like, yeah, it's yeah. so fun. Right. I mean, you meet. You're obviously with like-minded people. Exactly. Yeah. So you have a lot of stories to tell. You have right. a lot of things going on. So we're waiting in line and we're, we're talking to this one guy that's actually from 
up there in that area and we're yeah. and that used to race and what so we're talking to him and and having a good old time and we finally get up to the window and and of course zach's going well i know i've got all this i'm paying for the food why the beverages because you paid for my ticket and i go Aww. no we adventure paid for your ticket right yeah that's the part of being but but i said that's fine I... if you want to buy my beer and my food that's fine yeah i know so you. yeah so we get up there and and we're standing thank there thank you zach by the way yeah thank, thank you, you. And thank you, Patreon, for and, sending and, you guys. Yeah, sending us up there. But the guy in front of us right. orders, I don't know, he orders like pepperoni pizza and this and that. And <laughs> the little gal goes, remember, the gates have only been open for an hour and a half, two hours? Two hours. Two hours? And she goes, I'm sorry, we're sold out of that. <gasps> all, we, all, all we have left is cheese pizza. <gasps> It's like, how the fuck do you oh, come to the, an event like no. this and be sold out within oh, two hours of everything? And it goes for six more hours? Uh, Yeah. Oh, God. She's in for a bad she's day. She's in oh, for a bad day. We might no. as well close the thing down now. Yeah, just cheese pizza? So oh, it's like no. the guy leaves and, and I, I look at Zach and I say, hey, what kind of pizza do you want? <laughs> it's like, Jeez. we'll just have whatever you have left. Oh, <laughs> so, were you guys nice? So, yeah, oh, yeah. We Good. just had what we, what we could and then we had it. And, and then, um, you know, kind of scarf that down. Of course. Yeah. Because you didn't have breakfast that morning either. No, I was hungry. Yeah. But then we headed over to the start line because I wanted, I wanted uh, especially on the first race, I want to yeah. go ahead and, uh, and and hit the start line. And, and sure. I'll tell you what, uh, and I know all, all the tracks are like this, but like Washougal, shoot, he, I don't even bring a chair because I'm not going to sit down to watch anything. Uh, we, there's so many cool sections sure. to that track sure. that we just walk every section all the time. Right. And so we went all over that place. But, um, yeah, w- we get it there. We watch the start. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Pretty I mean, cool. you're, you're right there. And outdoors is so cool. It's not like Supercross or anything where you have to sit in your seat and you're a long ways from the track. I mean, you're right from me to you to some of the riders in some areas. Well, well, didn't you say that... Hey guys, intern here. Just a reminder, if you want to support the girlfriends as well as we, follow us over on Facebook at We Adventure and W, on Instagram at We Adventure and W, and definitely sponsor us over on Patreon. It's www.patreon.com slash We Adventure Northwest, all one word. And if you have listener stories that you want us to read on the air, Definitely send them to us. It's email address w e a d v e n t u r e n w at gmail dot com, and we'll get those on the air for you once a month. Thanks again, you guys. We really appreciate you tuning in. All right, back to the show. Ready, set, go. Didn't you say that at one point you had mud in your shorts? Oh yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So we stop at one of the beer gardens, right, and grab a beer, yeah, you're and good. and uh, so we grab a beer, and it's 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 two stroke IPA. Uh, okay. So I saw the picture that you sent me of that. That yeah. is one of the pictures that actually yeah. came through. And and the can was cool, and it, it must have been to have the can was really cool. It so was a little retro. It like was it was retro. it was cool, yeah. and uh, but it must have been a badge of honor. Mm. The label on it. What do you mean? Because everywhere you look, everywhere yeah. people are walking around, and they have like four, five, six of those stuck on their hat, stuck on their chest. Like stickers? On, yeah, or on oh. their shorts. It's like a badge of honor. I've had okay. six sure. IPAs. Sure. I'm drunk off my ass at the races. Yeah, it sure. wasn't that great a beer. That's what you said. <laughs> but anyway, so we're I we're mean, in one of the beer gardens. It's not like Wild Ride could be there. No. because we their whoop de whoop wheat. Yeah. But but no, we had some we we had some pizza and we're going. God, we're now we're thirsty. So we went into one of the beer gardens, which the beer gardens are really a great place to watch the races because in some areas you're right in the middle of where like they. The I mean, they're going on either side of you. Oh, they're coming up how? and they're coming down. Oh, okay, right? okay, 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 okay. Yeah, and I can picture. Whoa! What the? I what have was no that? idea. Holy. Cow. I'm going to edit that one out. I don't think we should. We should let all the listeners yeah. experience that. Holy shnikeville. 
But getting back to the beer gardens, so we're in the beer right. gardens, yeah, and sitting there enjoying a uh, um, so-so beer, sure. And the some of the riders go flying by us, and I felt something hit me, kind of in the hip. Yeah, yeah. And I reach in my pocket, right, and here's a clump of dirt. <laughs> and it's like, oh, nice home shot. Or like Hawaii, where you don't. Nah, I just threw home. it back on okay, the track. Okay, good. I don't want any bad luck from Washougal. No, no, no. But no, we we. That's um, cool that you guys were that close, though. Oh yeah, there there is not a bad place in to that sit hole or to be to yeah, stand. Yeah. yeah. Were they were there like bleachers? Were there stands where people? There's or no, was it just standing? There's, room there's no bleachers. The, the only the only areas that are like designated are for the, the if you buy like a VP. That would be me. Deal, which is really expensive. That would be me. Um, they have those sections. The princess pass. But you're limited to just the area that they put you. Sure. Where, so you can't like wander. Like Zach and, and I, man. I mean, we're at the start line. We're right. at Horsepower Hill. Ooh. We're on top where the big jumps are at because right. there's a beer garden up there also. Wait. So did you guys just jump from beer garden to beer garden? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I mean, if they have the best spots, then why not? They really right? do, and then and then we head down. We go in the middle, which is is a big grassy area uh, on a big hill, and you're in the the big Douglas firs, and, and that's where the majority of the people hang out, anyways. Okay. Um, in fact, that's where we hooked up with a little Seth. Little Seth. Little Seth, and so you wander, you can go all the different corners and areas, and it's just, it, I got my steps in. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah. I walked everywhere. Yeah, I didn't get my steps in yesterday. Oh, I did. And they, I did were, they were uphill and downhill. Not me. So. See, that goes back to you. You know not to ask me to go because I'm not going to want to hike. But it also goes back to, you, hey, make sure you include the intern. Do you want to go? Knowing that I will say hells to the no. Yeah, no. And you know what was cool is uh, they actually had in between... So they did. They did a two fifty race. Okay. And then they do the the four fifties. Yeah. And then they were kind of intermission. Right. And they did a what is it called? It's like I think it's like the dream ride. I don't know. And they put in it was a one twenty five cc two stroke race, oh. and it was freaking awesome. That's right up my alley. I would have loved. What I told uh, yeah. You I rode when we got. Oh back. yeah. <laughs> I, and I would have loved to have them put on two fifties, but these one twenty fives were freaking. They were cool, right? Yeah, yeah. Guess who shows up to do this race out of retirement? One twenty fives. Yeah, two stroke. Uh, Ryan Villapoto. What? Yeah, came out, out of retirement. Yeah, so he comes he out of retirement to the, and he does it. He, yeah, he, he does, does it. He does, does this. Do he does this. Oh my god! No, so he does this because he's a local boy up there, anyways. So okay, that makes sense. So he's just hometown. So yeah. So okay, Ryan okay. gets on on one of these one twenty five. Yeah, I know, right? I like it. So he, like well, it's kind of weird because he's riding a Yamaha. He's oh. he's Yamaha's connected now. Oh, where he was cow hockey. Yeah. Okay. And so yeah, he's you always been. Wrong bike. Yeah, oh, yeah. We were all kind of disappointed until you get to watch him ride, and then it's like, oh, dude, you're say, you're does back, it right really on. No, 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 no. I mean, he's no. so talented. He is. He he's a good guy, and and he was so far ahead of the rest of the pack. Really? Yeah, he was just doing big, huge whips on that one twenty five, and just messing around. Oh yeah, he was just uh, he, he was, just was a long fun. way. Yeah, he was out having fun. You what? could tell that. And what a treat! Oh yeah, yeah. What a treat! And it was That's it was cool. cool to watch him. I mean, I've seen I've seen Stewart uh, out there. Yeah. I've seen Carmichael out there, Wyndham, all those guys, and. And now Ryan and that's pretty and cool. That, yeah, that's really cool. And then, huh. and to have him on that dream ride, yeah, was really cool. Huh. Yeah, that is cool. Because uh, for him, you know, you think about it, and Zach and I were talking about. It, there's no pressure. No, there's oh God, no, no corporate he pressure. Need he doesn't need sponsorship. He, you know, yeah, he's just out there for fun. He's just riding, and he's got a bike provided for him. So yeah, he's just have fun. Provided. <laughs> provided. Okay. So just go have fun, right? Sure. I mean, and realistically, that's all it was. Here's yeah. the bike. Go have fun. And no, so it was really cool watching Did you watching know him. he was going to be there? Was he like one of those people that were trying to draw him? No, I didn't know. No, surprise? I didn't know that until, okay. well, we, I kind of heard that they were going to do the dream ride, but I didn't know what was it? going on and, sure. and who was going to. Okay. 
and yeah, and then they you, uh, you could hear you know wherever we were at, we yeah. could hear oh yeah, da, da, Ryan's gonna be Ryan here. Villapoto <gasps> really riding the Yamaha, da, 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 and it was like oh man, that's gonna be cool, you know. And then it just sounded like a bunch of angry bees. Oh yeah, because you know the two stroke. Yeah, and it's so much here, quieter. Here, yeah, right. but you know the two strokes when they're racing are so much quieter than those four strokes because those things the oh the, the, the just. The, Loud and I they was say, and a darker the, tone, but they're a deeper tone. The, they're, they're a, a deeper, throaty, darker. yeah, yeah, throaty, and a, that's yeah, good. and yeah. they they yeah. just echo through those right. valleys, yeah. and they're loud, yes, yes, and carry a lot of sound, right? And but it was fun watching those two strokes, and especially the smell of the two stroke. Sure, the oil, the fuel yeah. uh-huh. is like, oh my god, it smells so good, <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> But even the four really stroke, exactly even the four strokes, their race fuel is like, oh my gosh, this smells so good in there. You are so yeah, weird. it was crazy. Yeah, no, I know you have to get that in your blood, and yet you, you smell that fuel. You yeah, you smell that fuel, and it's just like, oh man, this smells so good in here. Could you imagine if they had a woman's perfume that was like two stroke? Oh, I know. Well, they do have a two stroke uh, flavored candle. I know that for sure. Scented candle mm-hmm. of two yeah, stroke oil. Of two stroke. Are we going to have to trade in our whiskey and tobacco? We're mm-hmm. halfway down. We have burned. Oh, yeah. Halfway. We're working on halfway. it. We're working on We're it. We're $10 of the way down. You know, we had a special guest out here, um, and they they were smelling that, and they were going, gosh, that really does smell nice. John and Michelle? Yeah. Our Patreon? Yeah. From Sedona, Sedona, Sedona. Sedona, Sedona, Sedona. Tune into that episode. Yeah. I think it was episode, episode 26. 26. Woo, look at us. Yeah. We are on the ball. <laughs> This has been the first. Blah, 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 what? Huh? You're a train so wine. It's cheap, but it gives you a buzz. That's why I'm drinking Corona, because I can run on the beach and not fall down. Hashtag the intern with cheap buzz. There you go. All I really have to do during this podcast is say, uh huh, uh huh. Uh-huh, That's uh-huh, what she uh-huh, said. Uh huh. And oh my gosh. No, but we had a good time. <laughs> I know I'm getting. Ra- I'm. I I'm bringing so you back. Glad that so you no, had it was fun. a good. It was a good time. We we met a lot of good people there. Had a lot and of you fun. Said Zach heard from people that were like, "Hey, that guy's got a podcast." I don't know why yeah. I use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. And we <laughs> talked to one guy um, from San Diego. He came up to just for Washougal from San Diego just okay. to watch it. Really? Yeah, just to watch. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. People fly to Anaheim to watch. Yeah. So yeah, got to talk to him about the races. No. Bah. Oh God! Bah! Ah. Uh, because he he he's he he used to go down there all the time. Sure, I feel like the timeline for Baja is encroaching so quickly, and there are not enough Patreons yet. So shout out to all of you who are considering being Patreons. Now is the time to get on the Baja wagon, because. I think you're going with as many of the girlfriends as possible, whether yeah, like, I'm wanna, ready or not. I want to get a big group going. I don't want to sure. go down just in a small group. I want to get don't a, want you to go by yourself. No. So maybe the girlfriends plus and, maybe like Ryan well, Keith and who else? Could, I mean, you could put it out on. And I would really I like to do. Facebook, but that sounds dumb. But you know what I mean. You I mean, yeah, you know, we got Keith. He's down there all the time. But yeah. Um, I I Maybe really I would, I, I would I really like to go. go and see. Um, I think you got to have a really good level of riders too, though. Um, to there's a lot of cool stuff down there. Okay. And I thought you guys were going to do like there's a, a guided. D- there is a guy. Go. There's a guided deal that I want to do. Um, I think Malcolm I, Smith's son. Yeah, I feel um, like has maybe one. We should talk about this off the podcast. Okay. You start getting ramped up about this, and I you're do. like, "Yeah, we're gonna go do this." And I'm like, "Okay, what is what is the medical support? What is what does your support look like?" Because I'll be super honest with you, I have told you a hundred thousand times that I I think about this, and I say I say that you know I'm really excited for you to go, and I'll hang out at you know wherever, like the the resorts and stuff. But thinking about you riding. And me hanging out at the resort, I'm still going to have anxiety if I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? But you'll, but you'll let me go anywhere in the U.S. and right. be by myself. No. No. I'm, I'm looking at What are you sound. doing? What no, are you doing? Your sound. Look. I know. You're going with your finger like, come here, come here, come here, come here. No. <laughs> it's come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Your sound bars are really, really loud and mine are really, really quiet. So if I'm quiet on the podcast, guys, sorry. In real life, I'll normalize you when I edit it anyways. Quiet. 
so yeah, I I mean I'm all about going to a resort and hanging out and drinking and hanging out poolside and doing all that kind of stuff. But I want to make sure that when all of you go to Baja, that it's safe and it's safe. Oh, it will be. But back to Washugal. Sure. Washugal. Washugal. So, did yeah. you just turn into a man? Yes. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> So, anyways, what? Uh, I'm trying to think if we had. I'm having fun making weird sounds, knowing that you're going to have to edit these. Out I know. Because eventually, you're going to get to the point where the intern got. And you're like, fuck it, I'm going to put everything. Yeah, I'm just going to put everything out. I don't even care. No, I'm thinking. Uh, did we have a? Really did we have any adventure <laughs> going out? Yeah, you by did. the end of the day. Yeah, because you guys were starving on the way home, and I said, "Oh shit!" I had texted you, and I'm like, "Hey, whatever you get for dinner, get two and bring home." <laughs> yeah, dinner and I'm going. Uh, it's freaking seven o'clock or seven thirty, but because like, it took us, out. it took us two, a little over two hours to get seven Which miles coming out. Yeah, it was dumb. That's dumb. But on the flip side of that, I was thinking about this. It took you two hours to travel seven miles, so. All of those people behind you were probably tuning into the podcast. Oh, for sure. I mean, what no, I mean, yeah. What else are you gonna do? Yeah, but so no, it did. It did. Followers. It took us two hours to get out of there and just get to the town of Washougal and get onto um, the interstate there. And we finally we we pulled over at um, I think Camus, got something to eat. Okay. And by this time, I, I'm texting you saying. Yeah. Do you still want me to get anything? Because by the time I get something to eat and we, we get leave. home, it's, it's going to be, be like 10 o'clock. Gross. It's yeah. going to be 10 o'clock. Which would have been fine because I was freaking starving. All we had in the house was Captain Crunch Crunch Berries and no milk. Hmm. I, I need to dry. I mean, I drank tons of wine yesterday, yeah. if that helps. I mean, that kept my stomach full. So the, here's one thing, though. What? Is the FJ gets, I mean... Oh it, it gets okay gas mileage. It gets like what seventeen miles. Nine, sure, but it's got miles. like a four gallon. But tank. it's got yeah. The tank is about the size of my bladder, mm-hmm. which is pretty small, mm-hmm. right? And like the FJ should you be your permanent travel rig, so that you have to stop and get gas and then be like, well, I'm just gonna go use the restroom. How ironic. Yeah, you know that would be perfect. It would for be me. perfect for you. Because that's how I roll. That is exactly how you roll. And but so, yeah, she's got a little tank. So yeah, so we're. And you don't pay attention because I you're don't. used to driving your truck that has like an 80 gallon diesel tank that'll I go know. three months without I filling know. up. But we get down here, and uh, granted, you know, it turned out to be a nice day up there. I will okay, say good. It. it was nice. Good. The sun I was, was a shining. Worried. We had to have our sunglasses on. Good. You Did know, you wear your straw hat? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh. I didn't this time, I, and I don't know why I didn't. I don't know um, either, because I saw a bunch of people in your pictures with it on. Oh, I know they have Like, everybody life. has that FMF straw Yeah, they hat do, on. they do. And, they, and that's sure a very popular an hat. Yeah. So, And, you know, Zach was making fun of me this whole time for Sure, ever that since the poker run. Yeah, poker and, run, he's and like, I go, well, dude, wait. We get up to Washugo, and he goes, dude, mm-hmm. uh, I get it. totally sorry, I get it. Um, sure. I'll be ordering one. <laughs> <laughs> You should probably just order all the girls. Yeah, I probably should. Thanks, I'll just put Patreons. it on the next order. But um, we get out of there and, you know, you're driving, yeah. sunglasses, and and it's starting to get dark. Yeah. And Zach, we're still on the freeway, and he goes, dude, are we even going to make it? He looks over, you know, because I'm not paying attention of to the gas Of course you're gauge. not. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> and he goes, dude, are we going to make it home? Probably not. <laughs> and I look and I go, nope. Ooh. So we pull over, right? Right. We get some. We pull into this uh, gas station. Yeah. Get some fuel. Sure. And we're kind of, you know, talking, talking smack about yeah. the the gas attendant because he's he's oh. a young kid, but he's he's walking around with like he's got the swagger. Sure. And we're trying to think of, you know, back in the eighties or okay. So you know you had yeah. that you know you had that swagger walk. Like he had a bad leg. Like yeah. <laughs> well, he had that, <laughs> but he didn't have a bad leg. But he keeps. Exactly the but now I'm thinking about this. About. Yeah. I was thinking about this today. Oh no! So the kid keeps staring at us, and even yeah. Zach goes, "Hey, yeah, you know the kid. You know, look how cool he is. He thinks we're cool because right. you know he keeps staring at us." Yeah. It's dark out. Ooh. Right. I'm a little. Nervous. So we're laughing, you know, and I'm Inside going, "Oh yeah, da, 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 da. yeah." It's and, not and insulated. So, no, we're laughing and and, sure. and it's dark out because it's. I cut it must be what nine, nine o'clock. Nine yeah. o'clock, a little after nine o'clock when we yeah. got fuel. 
And so we're going along, and, and I'm wondering, what's the kid staring at us the whole time, right? I don't know. We'll just head off. We're going, sure. right? So we get we get going, and, and uh, I finally get to Zach's house, and I drop him off, right? Yeah. And I'm driving... Oh God! Back I from know Zach's why he's house. looking at you. And I'm driving home. I know. And, and it's know dark as hell because it's like what? It's yep. almost ten o'clock. It's almost ten. It's almost ten. It's dark. And we live 30. in the middle of nowhere where yeah. there's no like street lights. And or I know where yeah, you're going. And you're you're freaking FJ. I'm just said from day one. I've said that the headlights are not very bright. Sure. This is dumb. Right. When they're on dim, and yeah. I want to raise them, or I want to get a leveling kit on it. No. You can't, if you see a deer, yeah. it's too late. No, it's got great brakes. No, 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 no. It No, it doesn't matter about the brakes. The headlights, you outrun the headlights so fast that on dim. Do you? On dim, that Do if you? you saw a deer, it would be too late. No, if you so I'm saw trying to a dri- deer. So I'm trying to drive late. on bright all the time, right? Right. People are pissed because you're blinding and them. And I saw, there were so many, I saw three um, county Mounties. What? From Zach's house to Arzac. County huh. Mounties? Well, they're on horses? No, they're on horses. County vehicles? Vehicles. County Mounties? With the lights on them. I'm sorry. Did so, you go yeah. to Canada? Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> it's freaking dark and your lights are shit. Wait, I'm, hold all on. I, here's hold on. All you I'm saw thinking. three yeah. sheriff's cars yeah. in between Zach's house and our house. Yeah. And I know what I know. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't pull you over? No, they oh. didn't. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> And so, oh dear, I'm oh thinking dear. to myself, uh, and so I'm, you know, is that, we only live like 15 minutes away from Zach, from, yeah, from each sure. other, less than actually that, 12 as minutes. The crow flies, yeah, right? It's 12 minutes. We've right. timed it, yeah. So, okay. I, all I'm thinking is, I'm getting on Amazon, and I'm going to order some new goddamn lights some for this thing because this is pissing me off. Headlights. You can't see. Sure. My Which truck I is support. way better. I do support that. Your truck also sits up a lot higher. Yeah, it does. So, but yeah. The no, but lights still, are yeah. terrible on this thing and I'm driving <laughs> home and I freaking, I'm pissed off about these headlights and I can't see and, and I, you're tired. and there's too many vehicles so I can't run it on high, high beams. Beam. Right. I'm on low beams and I'm running I'm sure. if at sixty miles an hour. I'm outrunning my headlights at this are. point. Are you going to break it to him? Are you going to? And tell so him what I pull in. I pull into the, the house. Truck. I pull into this in here, and I jump out. And I think you were I sitting said, on the porch. And no, and I and I think the first thing I said to you was your your headlights suck. And what did I say? And you said, "Are you still wearing your sunglasses?" <laughs> And I go, son of a, I still have my sunglasses you on. You were. I drove all night with my sunglasses drove on. all night. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're like, oh, shit, I thought it was your headlights. And I'm like, sure, I mean, if you want to put new headlights in, that's totally what, fine. What's that song, The Future's So Bright? I Gotta, I gotta wear, wear Shades, shades. Yeah, night. that's you. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, that's totally you. So, so, what, uh, <laughs> so to all my listeners out there, I do not <laughs> recommend you drive home at night, at night with, with your, your sunglasses, sunglasses on. on. And I don't know why I didn't realize I do. they were on. I do, because they're prescription now. They so are. you don't even think about having I to don't. put your other glasses on. I don't, because I can see. Because you can see just fine. Yeah. So I can, I So I back, the, back the deal up you to the gas up. station. Yeah, yeah. so the guy was So like, the, the, the kid, that's why he's kind of looking at us, because yeah. I have my sunglasses on, and it's dark as hell. Why didn't Zach say anything? I don't know. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The guy's like, wait, they do a podcast and this guy's driving around yeah. with his sunglasses on because he's way stoned. cool. Or stoned, one of the two. I guarantee you. He wasn't. Yeah, no. That is so funny. But yeah. So that's how I, I really hope the, the guy from the gas station listens to this episode and realizes that you just didn't realize you had your sunglasses I on. I had no idea. And that's, and that's when I realized, holy shit, I'm in my 50s now. Right. And... That's what old people do. Yeah, you were and, mad oh when God. you got home. Yeah, I was going. You're like, what your the headlights fuck? are the worst. Yeah. I'm like, well, maybe they'd be better if you didn't have your sunglasses on. And you took them off physically and looked at them like, oh shit, <laughs> shit. These really I'm are my sunglasses. Damn what's, it. what's up with that? That's weird. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. It's uh, I'm a train wreck. I don't know what to tell you. Well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I love it. Yeah. Um, bum, 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 bum. so yeah, that's my story. I love it. 
I'm um, glad you guys had fun. Yeah, and it was a good again, time. thank you, Patreons, for providing the means yeah, for them to so go and do this. We helping love it. us go to Washugo. You know, it just helps the adventures. Like, oh yeah, you for know, sure. If you guys want to keep hearing adventures on the podcast, definitely head over to Patreon, pick a team, subscribe every month. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, big boom. And look, I drank all your wine. You did. You drank all your beer. So, um, I still don't have that beach body. And I drank that whole bottle. You didn't have lime. Oh. Oh, that's what it is. We gotta we gotta get lime. Okay. So with that said, uh let's end this show. You guys, thanks for tuning in. We had a great story. We had a great time this week. I'm glad you had a good so, time. Yeah. So let's uh Oh, that was a good one. Should hey. Again? Oh, that Ooh. was even better. So hey guys. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for your support. And uh, have an adventure out there and be safe when you do it. We love you. See you guys. Bye.